Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you unboxing of the Space Marines Adventures uh, Labyrinth of the Necrons. This is a standalone board game in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. So uh, this uh, is this is a series of board games uh, that was uh, exclusively developed for the uh, United States and currently um, it is available through uh, the chains of, of Barnes & Noble probably also on Target and EB Games but if you are uh, looking for them maybe you are in Europe there is also a German uh, version and uh, so for some reasons uh, it was translated to German and is available in some German uh, shops but I did bought it on eBay and finally after a year I got my hands on one copy I did buy it from uh, da, 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 da. The seller is named In Game UK. Okay, so this will be an unboxing, like I mentioned. So let's see the content. We have five Space Marine figures, 16 page rule book, counters, five deck of cards, three double sided game boards, and uh, five six sided dice. So this is the, the layout. Like I mentioned, this is a board game, so not to be confused with the big uh, Warhammer 40k game which is played on a huge board this is uh, played on your regular table uh, let me see so we have some introduction so like I I would like to uh, to to say about this uh, this product. It is something a little bit more advanced than just your standard uh, board games, but uh, then of course uh, it is nothing to be compared with the with the huge huge complicated um, style of playing or rules that uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand has. They will advertise you that you can go buy your starter, which itself has few figures from the Dark Imperium box set, a playing mat, and just a quick mission. And yeah. Then of course there are Blood Bowl and Night Night Hound, Night Hound and Shade Spire are. Uh, more advanced board games, but well, still board games. And then you can also uh, buy yourself a uh, Lord of the Rings. This is a strategy battle game, so this is a much more advanced. And then of course there is Black Fortress and Necromunda, which are still board games, but uh, even more advanced and uh, you will experience longer gameplays. So uh, this features three missions and it is up from ages 9 plus so this is a entry level game for entry level uh, uh, users or let's say, let's say kids who want to first experience the world of the warhammer it is co-op one to four players and uh, it is up to 30 to 45 minutes uh, but i'm uh, reading about this uh, one mission will will last you around 15 minutes or so. So this is the rule book. How to set up a game and how to play cards. Really nice art, of course. This is really a strong side of Warhammer. You have uh, decades of lore, and here we have the Space Marine. So, obviously, we have a Ultramarine, blue, 
the green one are the salamanders, and the space wolves are the bluish blue gray. Then we have blood angels and the imperial fists. These are, of course, first founding chapters. Uh, white scars are not here, and a uh, few. Okay, so here's the first strike, which is the, the smallest of the entry. Uh, so starter sets for the Warhammer 40,000. If you want to play the, the large or large battle uh, game. So they will give you a few figures, a few space marines and a few uh, plague marines. So the chaos, so the, the, the dead guard. And here's how to assemble the figures. We have the push fit figures inside this box. So no blue is required. And um, you will be playing against the Necrons. And the Necrons are um, in this game. So presented as this uh, kind of tokens. Well, of course, you can you can buy uh, Necron miniatures from uh, from Games Workshop, and you can paint them up and uh, use them instead of these tokens. So here are the boards you will play on. They are double-sided. Inside here we have a nice bag for all your dice, sleeves for your cards. Let's open up real quickly this. Nah. We have a knife here. Okay, okay. so we have a beautiful card. So just to, uh, yeah, son of Gilliman, so he, here is the Rabuti Gilliman himself, in his beautiful art of his from the 40k time period. And the figures um, here in this box, they are part of a series of uh, Space Marine Heroes, that was firstly probably two years ago, uh, they were released in Japan as a, as a standalone uh, um, collectible uh, set. And then last year ago, uh, they were also introduced uh, in the UK, which is really funny, given that uh, this game is from, from United Kingdom and the Sanguinor. Beautiful picture of him. So this is the avatar, avatar of, uh, of probably Sanguinius, which helps out his sons in the greatest needs on the battlefield. Mm, okay. So like I mentioned, uh, the series, uh, which included uh, different uh, monopoles uh, figures or space marines. Were released in Japan and and you could buy them buy them uh, in a nice box and then they uh, started to also offer them in United Kingdom as a as a surprise box or mystery box. So there you could uh, buy as much as you like or 
let me quickly grab I will show it to you okay so this is the version that was available uh, in the UK it was a mystery box in which one you can find one of uh, how much the 10th yeah 10 10 maybe 11 uh, I don't remember so we can also compare them if they uh, look similar so this is the brother Titus let's count our liquid so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so but as far as I know uh, the Japanese release had more of them okay so let's see if they compare size wise looks like they do yeah so these are something in between your standard uh, legacy space marines and uh, primaries so they are not uh, so small than the standard marines but also and not uh, so huge than the, the primaries who knows uh, uh, what goes on uh, within the Games Workshop uh, <laughs> product department I don't know but um, probably they wanted to to use them in more products than, than than one release for one specific country which is always good to see so now uh, inside the box you have uh, these four of them and each one of them uh, is color matched to to their uh, specific chapter but uh, I don't see any kind of special regalia no so usually if you if you are if you know about uh, space marine chapters they have uh, each different uh, iconography so uh, so space wolf will have some kind of fur clothes and and, and uh, little fetishes like you know you know like uh, like wolves uh, wolves regalia teeth and also uh, so on the salamanders we have uh, some drakes and this kind of, of things the space marines uh, well, the ultramarines and the iron fleets are more so stoic chapters so they will uh, stay uh, just uh, with the standard uh, war gear nothing special okay so we have here we have the four deck of cards this is probably for the necrons so their objectives on the activation cards uh, let me see what you have here necron reinforcements yeah so these will probably activate through the the game do not open for level 3 and advance okay so more even more reinforcements phase shifters scarabs heavy metal Back. Okay. Exile beam. So even more cards for you, the enemies, of course. So uh, this is probably everything we have here. Let me let me check. Yeah, there's nothing more. 
yes, they also give you a nice sneak peek how the figures uh, if you would like to buy them look like so these are the necron warriors maybe some i'm not really uh, i don't really uh, know all the necron units so i know these two and yes here are the painted space marines and also a nice spread of units from the Dark Imperium box set. And of course, Robotic Gilliman sphere right here. So really nice presentation, beautifully made. Will uh, we'll also uh, interest you to engage more with the universe. Of course, this is a gateway game uh, to ease you more uh, uh, on the side of the of the collecting and also also playing uh, this game uh, so uh, in my opinion this is really a good start for for a beginner you can up from here you can you can go and buy yourself more uh, miniatures and also starting uh, sets and rules obviously you can go visit games workshop sites to uh, to even uh, read more and they have a beautifully community website where you can have uh, can read lots of articles news uh, they release uh, on a weekly basis new informations about new new miniatures uh, new rules of course uh, they, they will be releasing and the new uh, the new edition of the the game rules so the nine edition this after three years uh, that I'm uh, engaging with the uh, with this uh, with this game, it is good to see. Also, also uh, they uh, did announce a new uh, new box set, so I'm really thrilled to to see that coming. And also, if I'm able, and I will buy it, of course, and share it with you here on my channel. So yes, price-wise, uh, you are looking at around 40 US dollars, depending on the site uh, you're buying from, or uh, if you are going to the shop. Uh, like I mentioned, Barnes and Noble. Uh, this is a uh, this is a exclusive product uh, uh, for them. I don't know uh, for how long, and then it will probably will be released in other uh, shops and more also other countries. Uh, as of uh, 2020, uh, they did release also a, a recon mission and a rescue mission. In those missions, you will ha have new Space Marine miniatures from the uh, from the Heroes series, and also probably new boards to play a new mission. And they also have uh, released a paint set, so probably to. Um, I don't know. I didn't, didn't saw it nowhere to be found <laughs> right now. But uh, there is one, and probably they will give you basic colors to just put your standard uh, standard uh, say watermelon blue or your yellow. Yeah, these kind of colors on your your Space Marines. And then uh, they did announce uh, in February 2020 uh, a. A new uh, game set or board game set which is on the rise of the orcs and in that box set you will have a different system uh, to play with which is more a uh, tower defense and uh, miniatures in that set will include the, the series 2 of, uh, of the uh, of the space marine heroes uh, which were Blood uh, Angels Terminators, but once again in different colors. So there it is. So that uh, will be probably next uh, next release they will announce, and then also maybe a few uh, mission packs. We will see. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you find it interesting this unboxing. If you if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. 
and uh, if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you are not then please consider subscribing i try to release at least three videos per week mostly knives and gear related, but also unboxings and hobby stuff like uh, warhammer so hope to see you soon bye